things are slowing down across the world and, and for us in India. I want to get a sense from you and on this whole narrative that we hear that India only has 60 million users. I am extremely, extremely optimistic on India. I, I think there are very few parts of the world that are as dynamic uh, and as vibrant as India is today from, from a business uh, point of view. We have a very, very large economy. Maybe we will not grow at 8.5% this year, maybe we'll grow at 5 But you are, but we're growing at 5%. Our growth will be larger than the GDPs, combined GDPs of many, many countries. When you look at Europe, when you look at Japan, when you look at North America, when you look at large parts of the world and you look at growth in India, we are clearly still in a growth phase. 5%, 6%, 7% is still growth. We have inflation. At the end of the day, you live your life in nominal terms, not in real terms. We pay nominal GDP, we earn nominal, we pay nominal. So if you add inflation on that, we're talking about double digit growth, right? In nominal terms. That's, that's not something to be coughed at, you know? So we are still a very, very high growth country. And then we do have a large population and that large population has a lot of aspiration. If you combine that with some of the work that the government is doing in terms of reforms and in terms of infrastructure, when you add all that up, you know, the prospects are amazing. And that's why I, I like to watch these companies in the MSME uh, exchange. I like to, when I travel out for work and you go and see how development is actually going down to small towns. You know, I was recently, two months ago, I was in Sri Ganganagar. It's a farming town, but it's like a city. People are consuming everything there. So when you see development, it's really starting to go down to tier two, tier three in India right now. You you see that? I see that, I see that. You will have the vantage point of... Well, if you look at e-commerce, it's growing across the country, tier two, tier three, everywhere, right? And if you look at tier two, tier three, the endless aisle that e-commerce offers to them is very attractive because they don't necessarily not want the same pair of shoes that we are wearing in Delhi. Um, they want they want the latest uh, fashion. They may, the ticket size might be small, but they want the latest thing, and which is not necessarily available in the store, or there's limited quantity available in the store there. So e-commerce suddenly makes that available to them. So I think I'm very very bullish on what's going to happen in this country over the next five, six, seven years. So basically, you are saying that 60 million might not be the right number. It might be a lot more. We have delivered 1.5 billion parcels in the last uh, 11 years. Surely you've delivered to more than 60 million people. <laughs>